Did you realize that if this occurs, Tesla stock can surge? The financial business knows very well that a single incident can cause a stock to rise or fall. Keep an eye out and stay tuned to see what could happen next that could send Tesla stock skyrocketing. Like other companies on the market, Tesla stock has grown more unpredictable in light of the numerous global shifts that have an impact on the economy. However, there are also foreseeable shifts brought about by individual and or governmental decisions. You will learn what is anticipated and why a spike in Tesla stock is possible today. 10. Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer came to a hundreds of billion dollar deal at the end of July to reduce the cost of prescription drugs, increase taxes, fight climate change, and make investments in renewable energy. A key component of Joe Biden's first term program, Build Back Better, was a major domestic spending package that is represented by a scaled down version of the bill. A 15% corporate minimum tax, prescription drug price reform, internal revenue service enforcement, and the closure of the carried interest loophole, which permits partners in private investment funds to have their income taxed as capital gains rather than ordinary income are some of the ways the legislation would raise money. It would spend $64 billion on extending the Affordable Care Act subsidies and $369 billion on energy security and climate change initiatives. President Biden of the United States referred to it as the action the American people have been waiting for. This addresses the problems of today, high healthcare costs and overall inflation, as well as investments in our energy security for the future, he stated. If enacted, this legislation will be historic, he stated. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is a measure aimed at fighting inflation, fighting deficits, investing in local manufacturing and energy production, and reducing carbon emissions by around 40% by 2030. The anticipated total revenue raised and if this proceeds is around $739 billion, this sum is the result of $313 billion from the 15% corporate minimum tax, $288 billion from the reform of prescription medication prices, $124 billion from IRS tax enforcement, and $1 billion from the carried interest loophole. That comes to a total of $739 billion. A total of approximately $433 billion is anticipated to be invested on energy security and climate change, with $369 billion and $64 billion and $64 billion going towards the Affordable Care Act extension, respectively. Credit for used EVs, according to the information that is currently available. Of course, there are requirements and other considerations to take into account. For joint filers, the income threshold for new electric vehicles is less than $300,000. For single filers, it is $150,000. The income threshold for used cars is essentially $150,000 for joint filers and up to $75,000 for single filers. For EVs, there are comparable pricing requirements. An electric vehicle EV that is an SUV, truck, or van may cost as much as $80,000. Above that amount, cars or EVs are not eligible for the EV tax credits. It can cost up to $55,000 for smaller cars. Only used EVs up to $25,000 in price are eligible provided that the dealers sold the used cars. The first time the automobile is resold is the only time an EV tax credit can be applied. There are a few more intriguing factors for the electric vehicle industry. Among these is the requirement that by value, a specific portion of battery components be produced or assembled in the United States by 2024. The percentage of battery components that must be produced or assembled in the United States must essentially begin at 50%, and gradually increase to 100% in order to be eligible for at least half of the tax credit. However, battery minerals are covered by the other half of the tax credit. A specific proportion of the minerals used in batteries must either be recycled in North America or come from a nation with which the U.S. has free trade agreements, 40% by 2023, 50% by 2024, 60% by 2025, 70% by 2026, and so forth would be the goals. Furthermore, some limitations apply to all battery metals and components originating from entities of concern. Having said that, how, if approved, would this tax credit affect the demand for EVs? Initially, this tax credit may be used to request a dealer rebate. It can be used, to put it simply, as a down payment towards the cost of the car. You wouldn't have to wait until you file taxes, unlike now. This makes it superior to all of the federal government's prior tax credits. More than that, if the filer meets the income limits, it can save EVs up to $7,500. What do you think about the current pricing of Tesla's stock? Please share your thoughts with us by using the comment area below. For more content about Tesla. Stocks, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
Should the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 become law, there could be a significant increase in demand for electric vehicles. Nonetheless, when the law moves through various government departments, certain provisions will inevitably be modified. Of course, if the next leader wants to, it can be scrapped completely. Now, if the new EV tax credit is approved, how will it impact Tesla? All fans of the top EV manufacturer are aware of the manufacturing problems caused by supply chain disruptions brought on by the global COVID-19 outbreak. It's no secret that Tesla hasn't been meeting its delivery targets. If this measure is passed, though, things would be different since it will create new demand and could potentially result in price rises. The wait times for Tesla vehicles wouldn't be exorbitant if and when that occurs. Moreover, it might motivate Tesla to rescind its plans for us manufacturing expansion and accelerate the release of new models. Long term, the new EV tax credit may raise demand for all EVs, including Tesla cars, even if Tesla does not absolutely need it to maintain its 50% annual growth ambitions. In particular, it would result in higher car pricing for Tesla, higher gross margins, and higher operating profits. Nevertheless, if approved, the new EV tax credit will benefit the business. Positive news about Tesla is always excellent news for the company's stock. This implies that the beneficial impact the bill will have on the business will be reflected in the stock price, which will undoubtedly satisfy investors. In actuality, according to Chamath Palahapatia, a Canadian and American who was born in Sri Lanka, the CEO of Social Capital and Venture Capitalist believes that Tesla's stock has a bright future and will increase in value by double or even triple in the next years. According to him, this is consistent with Tesla's present position in the stock market. Furthermore, in an interview with Kelly Evans of CNBC, Palahapacha revealed that he views Tesla's incorporated trade idea, a five-year convertible bond that offers 95% of the potential upside of stocks, but carries the negative risk of a bond as a call option for one of the wealthiest men on the planet. He continued by saying that the aforementioned convertible bond yielded 5.5% when he first started purchasing it, and that as he views Elon Musk as a friend, he is ready to place a wager on the CEO of Tesla. Evidence, however, indicates that Palahapadia is a wise investor and does not tend to gamble based only on the recommendation of a close friend. This suggests that he believes in Tesla's stock prospects, not simply his pal Musk. Palahapatia is one of the seasoned and well-respected financial gurus who thinks highly of the Tesla brand and its ability to perform above expectations. Indeed, they think Tesla is headed towards demonstrating precisely that. Even though a plethora of rivals are vying for Tesla's position as the industry leader in electric vehicle production, the business is still the front runner in this space. For more of this stuff, check out Tesla stock and our other films.